Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing three brand new glitches and tricks in GTA Online. As always, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please don't leave without smashing that like button. The aim of this episode is to teach you three non-game breaking glitches, which are fun and amusing for everyone, and of course to teach you something new as well. So starting off the video, I'm going to be showcasing an extremely easy glitch, and this will allow you to have your crew emblem on any outfit of your choice. So to start things off, you're going to want to save an outfit you want the emblem on. You're then going to want to go over to clothing items and wear the white tank top. From here, you're then going to want to equip the crew emblem on this tank top. I am going to be equipping it on the back because I want my crew emblem on the back of my outfit. You're then going to want to walk over to the counter and select the outfit you just saved. And what you will notice is the outfit you have now selected, you will have the crew emblem on the back of it, which of course you cannot do in GTA Online unless you do this glitch. Depending on the outfit you want to select, you must make sure you have the crew emblem in a visible area. So say for example, if you choose an outfit outfit with an overcoat, do not choose a crew emblem on the back of your character because the coat will be covering up the outfit, so choose it on the front or anywhere else where it can be seen, just to make sure you take that bullet point into mind. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be showcasing a really quick glitch which will allow you to change the colour of your stock tyres in GTA Online. So the first step of this glitch is to apply any tires you have already purchased, or if you don't have any tires, make sure you choose the cheapest one, which is the classic five wheels. Once you have chosen that, you're then going to want to select the color you would like to have your stock tires in. So for this video, I'm going to be choosing the color red, because I just really like the color red, it's very vibrant, it brings more color to the vehicle, and in my opinion, I think it stands out as well. Once you have chosen your desired color, you're then going to want to go back into wheels, go back onto the stock wheels, and then what you will notice is that the stock wheels will now have the color you recently just applied onto the previous set of tires. And believe it or not guys, this is actually a glitch, and this glitch can only be done with the Sprunk Buffalo. If you want to do this glitch on any other vehicle, you must use the iFruit app, which does take a bit of time. So what I'm going to do is teach you guys another method you can use on any vehicle of your choice, and this is simply by choosing the Synthetic Z Sports Tires. These ones are worth about $8,000 or $9,000 or so, and they look exactly the same as the stock wheels. You can color them in however you want to, and you can also add customizations onto the tires as well, and you won't be able to tell the difference. So you can use that trick on every single vehicle of your choice, but of course that is only for other vehicles, as the Sprung Buffalo will already allow you to color in your stock wheels. So this last thing I'm going to show you you guys is a glitch but it's not something you can do in online. This glitch is actually regarding the rally truck which Rockstar Games released to online last night and it appears this vehicle is stuck in some sort of process. I don't think Rockstar Games can choose exactly which side this vehicle is on. It can be purchased on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, it can fit in your garage, it's also ticked as a garage vehicle as well which can be modified on the social club but for some reason it is still a Pegasus vehicle which cannot be stored in the garage. Anyway, I managed to take a screenshot of this just about this morning. As you can see, this is my Social Club account. The URL is at the top as well. Rockstar Games might have removed this from when you've seen this video, but it was real. It was on the Social Club, so we might see some changes with the rally truck in the future of GTA Online. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait and see on that, as Rockstar Games have not given their word on the rally truck yet about where it's meant to be in Online. Personally, due to the fact that we cannot fit it into any sort of Los Santos customs, then I really don't think we're meant to be able to modify this vehicle, and I truly now believe it is a Pegasus vehicle. But it's still really interesting, and I know it confused a lot of you guys when you saw this on the social club, because it pretty much contradicts exactly what this vehicle really is in online, and it just looks like there's a few bugs and glitches going on up at Rockstar Games. However, I thought I may as well just quickly clear that up, just because I know some of you guys were pretty interested in what the rally truck really was, but it looks like it's still in the process of being decided, but like I said, I believe it's still going to be a Pegasus vehicle, which we cannot modify at all in GTA Online, apart from the point where we can select the liveries. But I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comments section below, and as always guys, if you did learn something new, please don't leave without smashing that like button, click the subscribe button if you guys are new here as well, so you won't miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content just like this. Anyway guys, my name is Nort, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.